Well, dry weather this evening, though Doppler radar picking up on a few very, very light showers and sprinkles off to our west. We check it out. You can see out towards uh, Connecticut and uh, upstate New York. These are essentially working from northwest to southeast. So for the time being, we're dry. But later on this evening and during the overnight, one or two of these may pass through. But on average, most of the time, it's dry. So if you're heading out tonight running some errands, uh, don't look for any kind of soaking rains. Take a look at the time lapse along uh, Narragansett and the south shore. As we were going back and forth between a blend of clouds and some sunshine, temperatures today certainly cooler than yesterday and turning noticeably colder over the next 24 hours. The chance for a quick sprinkle tonight and the seven-day future cast will take us into Thanksgiving. We'll, we'll get a closer look at that in just a second. Partly cloudy in Providence right now. The temperature's at 49 and a light west breeze at 5. Not nearly as windy as yesterday. Humidity coming in at 48%. 46 in Smithfield right now. Many spots have dropped to the upper 40s after topping out around 54 this afternoon. Westerly still at 50, though, and Block Island coming in at 52. There's an approaching cold front tonight. The leading edge of noticeably cooler air that will come in for tomorrow. And ahead of that front, you see a few very light showers and sprinkles dropping down from upstate New York. So we'll keep these in the forecast this evening and during the overnight. You can see the shades of blue on the map across southeastern Canada where the colder air resides and that'll be working in over the next 24 hours. Nothing unusual but certainly cooler. For tonight looking at the partly to mostly cloudy skies the chance of a very light shower or sprinkle coming through by 11 o'clock will drop off to 42. Then overnight tonight we'll see clearing skies and colder. So by 5 o'clock in the morning we're down to 35 degrees. For the morning commute, we start off at 35 and then later in the morning go up to 42. Sunrise at 639. Dry roads, good visibility and some sunshine. And for your Friday afternoon, a bright, chilly and dry day. Temperatures during the afternoon not much higher than, say, 45, 46 degrees. At least the wind will be light and really not too bad for mid-November, though the temperature is running about 5 degrees below normal. On a northwest breeze at 10 to 15 miles per hour, mostly sunny skies and much cooler than today. Looking at uh, mid-40s from Boroughville to Cumberland and sunshine, chilly and dry across south Eastern Mass, 45 Swansea, New Bedford, 47, and Plymouth at 44 degrees. Weekend preview calls for a very windy Saturday. More leaves coming down at 52 and then colder on Sunday with sunshine and a temperature at 45. Cold and dry weather for that big Patriots game in Foxborough. Seven-day forecast calls for a dry weekend, chilly on Sunday. Uh, a moderation in temperature Monday and especially Tuesday up to 60 with a chance of a late-day shower. Uh, busy travel day on Wednesday looks okay, but the early call on Thanksgiving. Now this is seven days out. The chance for some cold rain and a temperature at 50. Hopefully that forecast gets tweaked and changed, but that's the uh, outlook right now. WPRI.com to get your seven-day future cast because all the football games and we'll, we'll see if things change. I know, it's, it's I know, and they couldn't see you when he went. <laughs> it's only seven, you know, it's seven days out. Yeah, so stay tuned. All right. <laughs> Thanks, Tony. Coming up in Eyewitness News Live at 5, a scary discovery. Up next, how a supersized serpent